I think I'm not, um, so just um, wanted to catch up on my videos. I haven't been making them lately. Um, try, I was trying to think of a topic, and um, I just wanted to. I opened this book here, Living Enlightenment, and it it comes to the the quote that comes to me is about gratitude. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about gratitude because it's something that that I've experienced in my life and I've used many, many, many different times in my life. It's almost like gratitude is a, is a power. Um, or at least it's like my secret manifesting power, like using how I use gratitude to, um, make things happen in my life. Um, so I, I was first able to experience gratitude, um, I've experienced it a few times in my life where I experienced true gratitude. Um, you know, one of them was uh, coming out of a horrendous uh, car accident that left me in a wheelchair and like basically strung out on pain medication. Um, so after you know, you're on pain medication for a long time, your body adjusts to it. Afterwards, you go through a detox process. And, uh, <sighs> there's no way to ex to describe, um, a detox unless you've been through it. I guess you can, like, if you've seen the movie Ray, um, talking about, uh, the movie's about Ray Charles. Well, he was a heroin addict, and... Uh, what he goes through during his detox is probably like the closest thing that you can find to so that someone can actually watch and look at and see what someone goes through during a detox. That's probably the closest thing. It's basically like just living hell. Um, so yeah, anyway, going through this process after you start to come out of it and you start to be able to see life for what it is and what you've been missing, you know, all of this time um, by putting drugs and alcohol into your system and basically just destroying your body and destroying your life and uh, not caring about anyone around you. After you've um, kind of come out of the fog, is what they call it, uh, when you're coming out of the detox, you get really, really grateful for your life. And I think it part of it is because you realize that you weren't really living. You're kind of living in, like, the lowest level of existence, which is, like, you know, just not caring about anyone, stealing what you need, and um, just uh, only caring about how you feel, basically. Like, just root root basic needs, uh, where am I going to eat, where am I going to sleep, you know, fulfilling all your desires that you have and not caring about what happens to anyone else in the process. That's basically how drug addicts and alcoholics live. So when you start to come out of this, this haze, you get really, really, really grateful for your life, like, because you start to experience a level of existence that, that you haven't experienced in a very long time. And that is when I started to experience gratitude, like, oh my god, you know, I'm alive, I'm, I'm alive, I'm walking, you know, I'm not in a wheelchair, <laughs> I'm not, I don't have to, um, take a, a drug in order to feel like a normal person today, I can actually walk out of my house and go interact with people and the world, without feeling like a, an alien or without feeling so disturbed that I actually need something in my system to be able to deal with life. So that's where that uh, initial feeling of gratitude started to come from when I, I had that experience in my life. And uh, as my life went on, I found that if I could recreate that experience of gratitude, I could shift a lot of things that were happening in my life. I could shift situations and things that weren't going my way just by invoking that feeling of gratitude and coming to a space 
where my inner space, uh, where I feel grateful for something. And immediately uh, what I wanted would manifest when I got to that space of gratitude. So uh, later on down the line, um, you know, whenever I, I was, initially it just started out like, things, you know, I was like feeling low or something and then I try to think about all the things I'm grateful for. It was like I had to evolve the gratitude because it wasn't something that just came naturally in me. Naturally, I think like everything, I'm entitled to everything, but that's not the case. It's like, but that's the way I think. So in the beginning, when I started practicing gratitude, I had to do it step by step, little by little, like just writing down a list, five, ten things that I'm grateful for each day. And a lot of times, I would write them and I really wouldn't even be able to feel that gratitude for it. I'd be like, I'd wake up like sober, I hate my life, I hate my life, I, I don't want to get out of bed, like I just want to go back to bed, I just want to pull the covers over and just not live, like that was my, my thought current. And so I would try and write these five things that I was grateful for, I would write like Yuri, uh, my job, which I really wasn't grateful for because I hated going, um, my car, uh, what else did I write in early sobriety, just like my apartment that I can pay my bills, and slowly, slowly the list would start to grow, and some days it was really a struggle to get five things that I was grateful for, but the practice really, um, you know, it helped me slowly develop that, that thing of gratitude until I could really truly experience gratitude later on after I met Swamiji. I remember I went up to him for a darshan and I was just looking and I'm kind of like, what's going on? I had never met him before. I'd never been to India. I didn't know about enlightened masters. I'm just standing in front of him. And I'm just awestruck and I'm standing there and I'm looking at his arm and there's a scar on his arm and he's giving me darshan. And I just see like, I just hear me, you, you, me, me, you, you, me. And I saw the scar on his arm and then I remembered uh, my arm is almost that exact same scar on the same exact side and I just had a moment of like, now just remembering it, I want to cry, um, just like sheer gratitude, like remembering the car accident and all the surgeries and not being able to walk and here I am standing in front of God basically and, uh, and I'm looking at him and he has the same scar as me, and all I'm hearing in my head is me, you, you, me. And um, it just melted so much of the stuff that I was carrying from the past. And uh, so that's when I started to experience true gratitude. Like, all this stuff that I've been through and here I am standing here in front of him and uh, and I knew that I was going to be taken care of and my life was going to be okay after that and I knew that he was my guru so and I didn't know what a guru was like three months prior so it was just uh an amazing experience. So this video is getting really, really long, and um, the point is like that's that's when I started to experience true gratitude. Like I could always, I could make all the lists in the world of all the material things that I had that I was grateful for, but not really truly experience that feeling until I I walked in front of him for the first time. So, um, then that feeling just keeps growing and expanding and multiplying over the years. So, uh, 
I don't know if I even said what I wanted to say. I really didn't expect to start crying in the middle of the video, but, um, uh, so after that experience, what, what I started doing was, uh, finding ways to experience that gratitude in my life. And a lot of times I do that through nature. I do it through surfing, being in the water and being in awe of things like, and nature always puts me in awe. Like, no matter what, I can just be sitting there in the water and all of a sudden I'll see a sea lion pop up. I'll see his little head. And I just, oh my God, wow. But anything that gets you to that space. But I started to see it because I noticed that when I was in the water and I was surfing and I wasn't grateful, I would have a terrible time and I wouldn't catch any waves. I would just be sitting there in such a bad mood. And then I started playing with the the gratitude thing because I noticed one time I was sitting there and I was in a really bad mood and I, I started to look over. I looked up and I saw the beautiful rocks. And I just looked around me at where I was at. I was in Lombok. I was in South Lombok in this beautiful place. These rocks jutting straight out of the water. And I was like, wow, oh my God, this is amazing. And as soon as I started to tap into that gratitude, immediately like all these waves started coming and I just started catching waves and my whole like session changed and then I thought whoa that's weird you know um, all I did was just get grateful so then I just kept doing it and I saw more things happen and then I started doing it in my life like if I wanted to manifest a new apartment I would just try and hold gratitude for what I had I wanted to manifest a new car I would just hold a high space of gratitude for the, the car that I had and for what it does for me and how it gets me from place to place and um, it takes me and my son and, and allows me to do my job and uh, yeah so that's how I started kind of playing with the power of gratitude and seeing uh, how to manifest things in my life through that gratitude but um, I think being able to experience true true gratitude is the ultimate gift the there's nothing more that you can get from life than being able to experience that feeling because I went for a very very long time just taking and not being grateful for anything so I'm so glad and grateful that I'm very able to experience gratitude in my life. So thank you for listening. I know this video was long, but uh, thanks.